The video games industry is one of the most innovative and fastest growing industries in the world. The men and women of this industry work tirelessly to provide entertainment for the masses. And some of these provide the music. Music that we love. Music that we listen to when we're enjoying ourselves playing those video games. With video games. Music that we love. Music that we listen to when we're enjoying ourselves listening to video games. With video games. Do we even know who these people are? No. Would video games be the same without them? No. What you are about to hear... Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to another episode of The Average Giants. I am one of your hosts, uh, The Average Gamer, and with me is my good friend... Um, I haven't thought of a name, so just call me Giant. Okay. <laughs> Mister hasn't thought of a name. <laughs> uh, what are we playing tonight, Giant? We are playing Brawlhalla, which is an awesome uh, fighter game, and we are also playing a psychological horror called The Music Machine. Yay, horror! Yay, I totally did it to you again! <laughs> always, <laughs> always. Uh, so, this is going to be the Brawlhalla uh, beta, I believe? And we have uh, Andrew in the call with us. How's it going, Andrew? It's going good. How are you guys doing? Good. Hey, I've Andrew. been excited for this show. I'm a big fan of Rawhalla, so... Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, before we jump in, would you mind giving the people that haven't heard the, about the game like a quick synopsis of what's going to go on? Yeah, so Brawlhalla is a platform fighter, oh, or brawler as some people call it, on Steam, both Mac and PC. And it's one of those games where you beat up your opponents, and instead of losing life, they take damage. And the more damage they take, the farther they fly when you hit them, and you're trying to knock them off the stage. Uh, we are free to play. Uh, we're currently in closed beta, but we will be going full release sometime this year. And yeah, uh, it's very oh weapon-based, unlike other other uh, fighters in the genre. So each character is picking up weapons to fight with that completely change their move set and uh, keeps the pace of the game pretty fresh throughout you know single sessions and stuff it's really nice art style too it's um really neat mix of like uh stylized and a little bit more serious yeah thank you uh Are you already we playing definitely without like me? it playing without me no it's just in the character select screen oh okay okay so <laughs> i haven't actually played with anybody so i'm not sure do i select the character before hand so that uh, you guys can join my party then or is it when I like in uh, you go to custom online and, uh, custom. Face the lobby. I will I will um, make a game there you go I yeah. was mentioned that uh, I guess we need to boost uh, Andrew's uh, voice a little bit if we can is it possible uh, on my end uh, oh. yeah that'd be have to be on your end unfortunately uh, okay. alright let me see what I can do here yeah, because I can't boost individual people in Skype. I think you're just not trying hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> that or it's not possible. <laughs> oh, well, if you put it that way. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, do you guys happen to know how to do that? I've not done a Skype call in a while. Uh. Um, let me see if I can play around with the options. So where are you from? Uh, I am from Marietta, Georgia, and we are working out of uh, Cumming, Georgia, so Georgia. Oh, <laughs> That's cool. all metro Atlanta area. <laughs> the weather's nice, I assume, or is it way too nice? <laughs> uh, it's getting better. We had a, a pretty cold winter, but uh, yeah, it's getting, it's getting nice and hot, and I like the heat. Not everyone down here does. Um, um, because we're in Canada, <laughs> what do you consider cold? <laughs> uh, once it gets into the 50s i'm unhappy <laughs> oh boy but uh in the winter we get down into 20 sometimes it tends to be it's really cold down here but that's that's about as bad as it gets well, we maybe get one snowfall a year lucky <laughs> <laughs> yeah about uh yeah on average we go between what is it the winter yeah we're about maybe in the 30s to zeros. Oh gosh, yeah, that's that's uninhabitable. I don't know how you guys do it. <laughs> and that's for five months a year. 
Uh, yeah, I don't know if I could ever live above the Mason Dixon line. It just gets. It's not that bad. I feel like it's too cold here sometimes. Hmm. Uh, I cannot find the volume control. It was there when I set up Skype. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Is you're as loud to me as Giant is as well, so... <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. I guess uh, it'll work either way. Should be fine. <laughs> okay. Just, okay. Just scream at us. Just scream at us. It's I'll make sure to uh, enunciate. Yeah. yeah. So you need to join my game, Giant. Okay. All right. I think it's at the max volume I can set it at. I think okay. I can uh, that should be fine. I'm sure we'll be screaming shortly. Join so. party. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. So I am gonna choose my character from World of Warcraft, uh, who is a Tauren warrior. <laughs> so tell us about the characters um, that we are looking at. Kobe Beef. Uh, yeah. So roster of legends from th throughout all space and time and past, present, future, alternate universes and stuff, and, uh, you know, just trying to cover all of our bases and make sure that everybody's got someone there they can play as, hopefully more than just one person. Uh, so you pick Taros, who is uh, our newest character. He's oh, cool. a Minotaur, clearly. Yep. Uh, he's pretty awesome. We had a lot of fun designing him. Uh, and then I've got Bodvar, who is our, I, mean, I guess you call him our main character, because he's a Viking, and the game is called Brawlhalla. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, actually, his, the, uh, the characters have some pretty awesome backstories that, uh, I was not a part of writing, but it was, it was really cool to see what the team came up with, and Bodvar's is particularly hilarious because at some point, he traps a fire giant king inside his own volcano in order to defeat him. Oh, wow. <laughs> Which is just, I mean, how do you beat someone who could do that? Yeah, oh, completely. Uh, okay, so we're ready yeah. for battle. You're yes. playing Nash. So I you guess and I, so. <laughs> looks like you and I have high damage but low attack speed. Yep. It looks yes, like it. so yeah, the, the first stat will be uh, it's a s multiplier on how much damage you do per swing and uh, also a multiplier on how hard you hit people. So the mm -hmm. amount of force you're applying to them. Uh, and then, yeah, attack speed affects Three, uh, your two, recover time from attacks one, and how quickly you can attack uh, with your, um, your heavy signature moves. Holy crap, I already totally m messed up where I was. <laughs> oh, ow! My uh, face! Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, suck it! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's a big <laughs> hammer! Oh god. Oh, jeez. So, uh, when did you first uh, decide you wanted to make a, a game like this? Uh, actually, I was hired on to work for it. Uh, oh. I came on the team back uh, into July 2013, and yeah, nice. one of the the, uh, the pitches we one of the things we talked oh. about just uh, in the phone interview was working on a game like this, and it was something that got me just really excited because mm. up until then I had only worked on like Facebook games and stuff. Uh, oh wow, that's so quite a switch. Was, been kind of like a dream come true to work on this. <laughs> oh, I am uh, so I'm uh, following along in the lines of how I usually am with uh, these uh, si side scrolly uh, fighter games. In Smash the sense Brothers that I suck. <laughs> uh, that I need to utilize my my block, but I don't. Yeah, dodging dodging's pretty key in this one. Uh, we, don't, we don't have, like, uh, it's not really a, a block function because you can't hold it down, but uh, when you start playing the 1v1 ranked queue online, you, it does, you get into this pattern of, of dodging and anticipating oh, like that. dodges, and punishing dodges. That was a great mid-air dodge. Oh, my face! <laughs> oh, no! Oh! <laughs> uh, so, how long has the game been in uh, the works for? Uh, close to two years. Uh, when I came on was when I was the first person to, to start on it full time and not work at all on uh, Dungeon Blitch, which is, which is uh, our other game, which is a uh, side-scrolling MMO for Facebook. Oh, cool. And, and so I've been working on it continuously since then. And the whole team, all 13 of us, got on to Brawlhalla around March of last year. Oh man, giant! So painful. 
<laughs> so painful. <laughs> this is one of those uh, days where it's going to be, um, we're not going to be able to ask you as many questions as yeah. we're be because we're uh, nice. going so crazy over the game itself. Uh, no worries. Uh, I'm also <laughs> trying to play here, which I'm not used to talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's I'm doing led, so uh, bad. That's why I let Average play the games mostly because, uh, oh geez, because I am bad at uh, talking and playing a game. <laughs> I don't know why. I haven't. I just yeah. haven't had it. I considering that I'm a let's player. I should be able to, you know, talk more while playing the game. Oh. oh. Although I guess I'm good with the commentary as opposed to actually asking, you know, questions. Yeah. The bull comes back in the game. Ow. Oh, good Lord. that hurt me too. And he's out of the game. A, uh, a new respect <laughs> for we we do a uh, a dev stream on. On, uh, Twitch every Tuesday, and uh, starting to get a better appreciation for uh, why they have such a hard time beating <laughs> the uh, the community in two v twos. Oh jeez, oh jeez, don't do that. <laughs> oh nice. So I'm, I'm doing a little bit better than I expected. <laughs> oh jeez. I love this. This is really fun. It's it's very simplistic while still being complex. Easy easy to learn. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a big goal for us. Is to, I mean, part of the thing with platform fighters is that they're very approachable. So I remember playing Smash Bros. on 64 when it first came out, and it was just like this whole new thing where I didn't have to do like quarter circles and like look up move sets and all that great stuff. And. Uh, so we're we're kind of taking it a step farther in that there's no uh, cording of presses, and uh, no like we don't have a short hop or anything that requires super precise input timing. So that all of your efforts and your skill as a player come from reading people and making decisions and understanding the game better. Uh, so oh. definitely ideas to really be accessible for people. Mm -hmm. and that's also one of the benefits of the of the weapon system in that uh, once you know how to play a certain weapon, well that you know, a whole bunch of characters, you know half of their movesets. I like the stances as well. I was just looking at those. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I forgot those are on. <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> we don't have them on in matchmaking yet, so uh, I haven't been playing with them much. I like the stance because it gives you a chance to really, you, you, like, you can totally choose exactly what you want for your yeah. your stats and mm -hmm. instead of just being stuck with the, the same ones. Yeah, I'm, I'm real excited that they're, they're, uh, they're finally live. We've had... Uh, a system similar to him for really long time. I don't even how long is that line. I don't even remember how long we've had it. Oh! What that? Oh, I have a. Oh, jeez. I, I just let it go. <laughs> oh my god, I love oh, this no, no, dude. That's not good. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, that was a good Nice. Oh, very uh, nice. So, um, what made uh, you guys choose on the animation style that you currently have? Uh. It's it's pretty similar to the one we had for Dungeon Blitz. It's just that, that like Saturday morning cartoon feel that uh, you just get the right kind of expression. Uh! Faces <laughs> and uh, I think that Mega was Man close. was probably an inspiration. Uh, you'd have to ask our artist that. Uh, but you know the the big head and the proportions of the torsos and stuff. Um, oh no, that killed me, you not get, you. You get a lot of personality in the face and the facial expressions too. If you're on a good size monitor. Uh, I'm playing on a 32 inch, so uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, they, they, they make some nice. Oh! 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 I had to check my hair before I stabbed you, like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, and then we use that to show off. You know, Roland's not only a knight, but he's cocky, some be. <laughs> he's he's beautiful. I love him. <laughs> So this character is a little bit tougher. I'm not used to the the guns. Mm. Yeah, oh, guns. Guns took me a while to get used to, actually. But now they're probably my best weapon. Oh, uh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is a one that that takes a little getting used to, but once you do, it's it's extremely powerful. Mm -hmm. So uh, the the guns are a short range. They are. They're more disjointed hitboxes, so they actually have some really oh, nice okay. range on them. It's just they usually struggle with getting people that are really close in on them. 
Uh, oh. But the side aerial attack is uh, one of the better ones in the game, uh, especially for spacing out opponents. Um, oh, I see. And then uh, when someone gets down on top of you with the guns, you use the, uh, the down pistol on the ground, and that'll, that'll get it right off here. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, man. I'm loving this. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> I'm having some fun, and I feel that I can actually, you know, accomplish some stuff. Oh, I just press pause. <laughs> oh, no. That's what you get. <laughs> what did you get? What did you oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No. Oh, okay, I did. Oh, wow. Very nice. Nice juggling. Oh, nice. don't juggle me. I'm being juggled. Whoa. Okay, so what's the trick to the guns? <laughs> uh, lots of down airs. Whoa. Uh, lots of lots of down on the ground and uh, using that side that side air to space. Oh yeah. Part of it, and then really just wearing the heavies as as uh, your killer moves because the guns don't really have a lot of kills built into the, into the base set. Uh, the recover is one, but it it's. It's not that easy to get to hit people with, and it's got a lot of room on it to punish you. Yes. Oh. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> ah, ah. No, no. <laughs> I like how you can jump up the walls. I think that it, it gives you a little bit of a, a better chance of survival if you go and use your three jumps a bit too much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, one of the first. Things I put in the physics system when I got here was the, uh, the, oh, the Mega nice. Man X wall sliding. Uh, the animation, this is amazing. I will pass that along. Thank you. Um, Yinyamina asks if the game doesn't have music in it. Yeah, I can. I can try turning the game up. Let's try Orion. Oh yeah, by the way, hello everybody in chat. Thanks for joining us while we play Brawl Howla. Brawl Howla. <laughs> um, Brawl Howla. <laughs> before we're done tonight too, I believe we have a bunch of keys to give away, so uh, maybe we can get some viewers in to play with us. We have a key or two, yes. Um, what yeah. is the max amount of players in the game for? Four, I assume, uh, yeah. Right now it's four. Uh, we are planning on, on getting some larger games in there. Oh, once. cool. Uh, I mean, we gotta go open because we gotta have the uh, the player base to support matchmaking for that. Uh, right now, if we add any more queues, we're gonna split it split the base too much because we're in closed beta. We're you know not everyone can get in yet. But how's the, the how has how has the closed beta been working out for you? Really well. Uh, it's been really cool to watch. Uh, we've got like ninety five percent positive on Steam. Wow. Uh, we get really good feedback we already have uh, a competitive community that's constantly like giving us what they you know their advice on balance changes and stuff and they're hosting tournaments all the time uh it has exceeded my wildest dreams honestly uh i am used to games <laughs> the games of the last company i was out at did not do very well but you know uh that was the tail end of the whole facebook gaming boom and kind of to be expected. This mm. is going to be more fun to work on anyway, so. Giant, why did you pick the same person as me? But I didn't. <laughs> you did. Well, I choose a different color. <laughs> what? What's wrong? Nothing. What's wrong? Nothing's what? wrong. What? I just need to stab you in the face a little bit. I'm going to stab you in the face Three, first. Two, <laughs> can't wait to punch you while you're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, jeez! Punchy daggers. Oh, that was a good shot. Thank you. Oh man. Okay, he's very oh, aerial. Oh, maybe we should try this side. Maybe that'll work. Good. Oh, maybe I should not drop my weapon. Whoa. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, yes. Burr! 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 So one thing I'm always curious about in brawling games like this is when you guys are deciding on what characters you want to make or something like that, is um, like quintessential archetypes or character personalities uh, like something that comes into the equation? Or do you just have random cool thoughts about like, hey, it'd be neat if we had like a pirate that shot cannonballs out of his pistols. 
Uh, mix of both, I guess. So, uh, I made mean, Thatch game about crews. We were like, all right, well, we need a pirate. And uh, Dave, our artist, came and the other artists we had came up with a uh, bunch of ideas for pirates. And we kind of just had this like voting process and uh, sketching process, and it evolves through time. And then uh, what moves they do is actually kind of a whole other process by a whole other team. Oh. But oh. Uh, it's still something that the whole team really, if they want input on it, they, they get to have it. Uh, we, don't, we don't really have game designers here, it's, it's, a, it's a team process. Oh! Uh, which has been really cool, because, uh, uh, I mean, I, I am definitely first and foremost a programmer, but I really do like to, you know, get my beak in there on the design process, and it's been fun. Learned a lot, that's oh, for geez. sure. Oh, oh, oh. No, I was supposed to pick it up. <laughs> Mine! Dang it. I don't Dang. think it was. Whoa. <laughs> so I get used to the fact that, you know, you have all the... <laughs> How many different, uh, like, combinations of moves does each character have? Uh, so each, each move set has five moves in the air and six on the ground. Oh, okay. Uh, so each character has access to... 11 times 3, 33 moves. Wow. Um, wow. And of those 33, 6 are unique to that character. Oh! Which would be the uh, the 6 ground heavies that come from the 2 weapons that they get. Oh jeez, I felt like that was going to be a bad situation with me being in the center of it all. Oh jeez. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. Ugh, Orion's brutal. <laughs> yeah, can, that that looked nasty. Oh, that was cool. Uh, uh, oh no, uh, it's okay, it's okay. I'm okay. We're fine. Leave me alone. Do <laughs> <laughs> everybody. Oh, you. Oh, oh, you. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Don't doze you. <laughs> right. Whoa, 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 you're right. What? Oh, jeez. Seriously. Woo! That was kind of crazy. About ten. Ten. Eh. <laughs> yeah, I see we're totally talking so much now. <laughs> yep, completely. So much. Oh, man. Focus! I like how much room you have for recovery in this. Like... The between the jumps and the the dodge, like it's if you don't die right away, you 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 definitely can get back to life. <laughs> yeah, uh, definitely something we worked in the game, and something I really was trying to get focused on was being able to really pursue people into the air, make the, make the air combat more interesting, more dynamic, and mm -hmm. put a lot more into it other than just like jump, air attack, jump, air attack. It's you know, there's. There's a symphony of attacks in the air. <laughs> <laughs> a symphony. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's 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 cool to play and it's fun to watch. Um, yeah. One uh, thing that somebody said in the chat was the stages are beautiful, um, and he says they could use some animation. Is there a chance that that will happen, or is it going to stay as sort of just a a portrait? Uh. I think we all want animation in the backgrounds, definitely. It's, it's it's a matter of finding the time to do it. So, I mean, down the road, uh, yeah, I really hope so. And currently, we're definitely planning on it. Cool. Hattori. Oh my god, Hattori Hanzo? <laughs> oh, god. Why you do this? Uh, it's because they're in the bride's outfit. <laughs> okay, you just keep talking. <laughs> I'm always surprised when anyone picks... Any other Two, Victoria costume. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, that's cool! What beautiful animation! Whoa! That... <laughs> what? Oh, yeah! Yeah, Hattori's moves came out. She's she's uh, one of the more recent characters to get her, her set of moves, and they came out. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, props to the animators on that one. <laughs> oh, 
Oh! Oh! No! Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah, die. I'm talking about. Die. <laughs> you know. Knife. Knife hands. Oops. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, what? I'm still alive? Nope, not really. Oh, oh no. Nope. Me neither. <laughs> Oh, look at that taunting. <laughs> look at that classy. <laughs> yeah, you keep taunting. <laughs> uh, taunts are how we say hello. <laughs> uh, every every 1v1 match I start starts with this wave, pretty much. <laughs> it's like, hi. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh. Nope. <laughs> nope. Hey. Ha. Ooh, nice. Oh, that was cool looking. Oh, goodness. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. No, nice. not again. So, do you have a favorite yet, Giant? Uh, no, I'm just trying them all as I go along. Well, I mean, considering that I won the first match with, uh, with uh, Nash, that, that kind of helps. Yeah. <laughs> That's very Nash true. It is really good right now. <laughs> I think at last, <laughs> the last time we ran, we ran the numbers. He had the highest win percentage in uh, the ranked one v one queue. Oh, interesting. Whoa. Oh goodness! Oh, I hit my own bomb. <laughs> oh man! How did I get that one? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how I, I managed to get that 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 kill. <laughs> Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Trying to talk, but it's not working out, is it? <laughs> nice. Spear from the side of the screen. <laughs> you want to do that, don't you? Oh, that's close. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Uh, what the goes blue? It oh, I just. <laughs> <laughs> Nope. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> my head. Ow, my head. So mean. <laughs> oh, oh good dodge. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta be ready, because I will come try and get you off the screen. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Oh, like that. Just golf swing to the back of the head. <laughs> Oof, that snake move. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Just played some some wall tennis, you know. <laughs> Oof. Ooh! And I, I doesn't mess around in free for all, man. <laughs> and I chose um, what did I choose? I chose a uh, a fair amount of damage too. Oh yeah, I didn't actually yeah. I was having to look for the uh, what stance. What are you two here? doing, cuddling down there? <laughs> <laughs> I just barely got that one. Barely. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's so, like the badass. Let's start doing something nice. She's good. Her her spear set is especially potent. Boop. Yeah, I used um for her. Oh, I stances. Used... I got. I don't remember doing my stances. <laughs> yeah, for her stance, I did a lot of damage, uh, but she was slow. He's wearing 3D glasses. That's pretty impressive. I'll be choosing a character shortly. I'm seeing... If anybody would like a copy of the game, I think we have enough in right now that just tell me you want a copy and I'm pretty sure I can give you one. And then, because I'd love to get a couple people in here with us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you guys want some other people, I'll be happy to drop out, too. Like no, no, I'm sure we can rotate it one out. Yeah, I'll that. <laughs> Patori Hanzo. Hammer and this. Oh, okay. Whoa, the that is a lot of damage Oops. stance. Holy cow. <laughs> Ooh, steampunky. It's uh it's free for all, you gotta snipe those kills. Yep, true that. Okay, well, we'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got 
So, in your opinion, what's your favorite part of the game? Uh, definitely playing 1v1. Uh, I mean, I, I think I've got the most 1v1 matches logged uh, in the rank queue of anyone in the office. Uh, wow. Close to, it's gotta be over 500 by now. Wow. Uh, that's, that's, I mean, that's usually how I spend my lunch break. <laughs> that's a good way to spend your lunch break, though. Yeah. Uh, hey, get out of here, Bebop. <laughs> Yeah, I don't remember if this one looks like Bebop or Rocksteady. One of them. <laughs> no! You'll pay for your crimes, okay. sir. I feel that this is gonna be bad news for me. Oh, jeez! With all your damage. Oh my goodness. Hacks! Hacks! Oh, I threw it the wrong way. Oh! Get him! Oh, close! No. Close! No! No! Oh. Yes! Oh. Yes! Yes! No! Oh, come on! Oh, no! Nope! No. No. no! I don't get it! <sighs> Dang it! I just sniped that one. <laughs> oh. Get out of my face! <laughs> oh, Scarlet's so good. I like the... It's, it's like a steampunk witch. I'm loving it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard anyone say that, but you're right. <laughs> Way she uh she sits side saddle on the lance when she does the uh the forward hit. Yeah. That that made me so happy when I saw that. <laughs> How did I miss that? What is going on? Oh. 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 Like I got a hammer too, you jerks. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. That's the bear. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, I'm not good at this. <laughs> no! I kicked you in the mouth! <laughs> oh, oh. Really bad. Yay! Yay! It's, uh, it's one of the wackier maps we've got. So yeah, this is brutal. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, easy to fall off. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, I was just trying to see how far we could reach it. And, uh, oh. yeah, found it. Ow! So... Six, six, and minus four. <laughs> what was that? Don't worry about I, I, it. I found a spot. Oh my goodness! <laughs> da -na 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 -na. Boom! Oh, lucky. So close. Woo! Woo! Haha! Oh, it finally worked! Bear! Oh, that, that bear's like a bot to a point for me. I had oh. a bear come out, I was like, I can get it! And then I never did. <laughs> I died a bear. Oh, uh, jeez, Giant! What? You're doing so good! Oh yeah, I'm doing great. Hey, hey! <laughs> I call that thing over here! No! <laughs> oh, dang it. Oh, nice. Oh! That was bound to happen. <laughs> Karova says hammer time! Oh, I'm just standing here. I wonder if I use. Oh, I nice. just missed. Ooh! Oh my! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Just die! I'm so close! One kill! <laughs> I got high defense. <laughs> Just give me one kill! <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> no! Ah! Oh, <laughs> you got it? Nuts. Oh! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, that was a bad one. No KOs at all with him. I'm, uh, I like Scarlet. That hammer and, uh, um, Lance combo are dirty. Yeah. Dirty. Yeah. Yeah, man. They hit, they hit hard. Hmm. Uh, I think the Lance is definitely my favorite so far. I'm gonna try Orion. Hey, we got a fourth. Oh, it's Peachy. <laughs> Hello, Peachy. He's in the stream with us right now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I heard or he heard you say Nash is really good. Probably has the highest win percentage right now. <laughs> <laughs> Nash off. 
<laughs> it's a Nash off. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> this would be interesting. All right. I'm going to try Orion, but I may just go back to Scarlet. She's a lot of fun. Oh, <laughs> Man, we this have game different is stances excellent. though, so let's pay attention to that. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> so which one's Peach? New guy. Orange Orange Nash. Got it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh jeez, <laughs> we're all in the same spot. Boom! Oh. 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 No. Nice. Oh, nice. Nope. 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 Two robot for you, sir. Ah. <laughs> oh. Thought I had you there. <laughs> I was fresh out of the box. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. 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 Oh my goodness! Oh! Miss the dodge! Nicely done. You get some really good volleys in this. Okay, let's see what the spear's all about. Okay. Okay. I can do oh. that. Okay then. Whoa! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, I think so. Oh, I think so. Oh no. Don't kill yourself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stop jumping off the edge! No! 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 Woo! Shouldn't have gotten that one. Nice! Oh my god, that was cool. <laughs> yeah, it has got some of the cool looking moves. <laughs> no! 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 Although I feel like at this point I've said that about like everybody. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it's it's really well done because all the characters are unique, even though they have a lot of the same weapons. So, one of the things I'm I'm doing like when I chose this character is like I really like the lance, but let's see what other lance characters can do compared to uh, the people that I've tried. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, lance was one of my stronger weapons at a certain point, and yeah, just kind of switch around lance characters, see what happens. Mostly, mostly Roland and Brax. Yeah. Oh crap, no, I'm swearing. Nice. Do -do 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 -do. Wow. So I've noticed oh, that obviously there are skins, because you guys said that you're free to play. Um, what other kinds of like services or count services or purchases can you buy? Like, if I wanted to say use this character with dual blades, is that a possibility? Uh, no. The, so the, uh, the two weapon pairings are, are unique to that character, so th those aren't going to change. Uh, but there's plenty of cosmetic stuff you can buy, so you can personalize uh, the little robot that drops you in. Uh, oh, cool. If you can see him floating around in the background, mine's a little steampunk looking dude. Oh, uh, cool. Which you get for buying the collector's edition. Um, <laughs> you know, since I work here, I've got all yeah. the <laughs> unlocks. Um, and oh. uh, you can change the explosion effect uh, for when Whoa. people explode off screen. Uh, you can oh, cool. change the way your your little uh, kill updates come up and your title looks. So that little thing at the top that says like Ada kill Hattori will yep. show up differently. You can personalize that. Um, so we're definitely gonna you know try to try to get plenty of stuff in there for you to customize, uh, just without without making the game you know pay to win kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean it's PVP. You just you can't have it. No, exactly. I think that would completely detract from the game anyway. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, that mine saved my life. <laughs> and that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's really been a goal from, from the beginning, is, you know, play a game. Oh, oh crap! Oh. Nice! That was beautiful! Everybody. That was beautiful! We should probably let other people get some kills. <laughs> no, no, this is how we get better. <laughs> Ow! Wow! <laughs> Frozen in pain. Oh man. <laughs> hey, at least I got second. <laughs> yep. Ow. Oh, we've got Trexel and Yin want to come and play. <laughs> Oops. 
Yeah. Yeah, I can, yeah. Even I can tag out if somebody else wants to play. Yeah, I'll be happy to spectate. Just, just talk. Yeah, sure. Um, we can definitely try that. I think I'm going to go back to Roland, actually, because he's got my lance, and I love him. <laughs> Roland. Roland's good. Uh, the uh, the first guy who, who really uh, like rose to the top and became like the clear best player in the community, uh, a guy who goes by Raiden, uh, that I remember him, was, was a Roland player initially. <laughs> uh, I just remember just getting worked by him. It was like the first time a community player had just like utterly dismantled me. <laughs> oh wow! Like, How are you doing this? I made this game. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, at this point, I'm used to it. Uh, I can't even crack the top 100 anymore in, uh, in the online ranked. Uh, How long did that process take? Uh let's see. So we first started allowing online play almost a year ago. Actually, a little over a year ago. And then um, it took until about maybe. Maybe late last fall when uh, people started getting getting better than the devs. I mean, early on when, when people were hosting hosting tournaments, like they initially had like a devs versus players tournament, and uh, it was like a bracket of devs and, and players, and uh, the devs won every single game, and uh, the the only player like the player we had to declare the winner of the players was the only one who could actually take like an individual stock match off of one of the tests. Oh, wow. Uh, so, it, there was a disparity there for a time, and then, uh, yeah, at some point, oh. around, like, November, October, around there, uh, a few guys started coming to the community, they, they started taking over the tournaments, and, uh, <laughs> making help videos on, like, how to play the game better, Oh, and interesting. Every time I played one of these guys, it was, I mean, I got, I got three stocks and it was, it was bad. Like, <laughs> he, he was like, yeah, I'm going to make a video, on, uh, you know, to show off Nash and, uh, you know, show people how to play Nash. And, yeah, just be whoever you want and we'll just play. And he, he beats me 3-0 and I barely touch him. He's like, so, uh, we can delete that one and start over. <laughs> 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 you know, he's like trying to <laughs> save face for me. I was just like, I just wasn't ready for that. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, they've gotten good. Uh, I can't even touch them anymore. <laughs> I'm getting better, uh, but, you know, it, it pushed me to get better at the game. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm learning at the, the game that I helped make. It's, it's wow. definitely an interesting process. And that's, so. that's definitely one thing, too, I wanted to chat about, is um, obviously you've got a pe competitive game, but, like, how do the developers help with the community or help create a positive community for other people to play in? Uh, we are extremely active on the Steam forums. And I think the big is just, like, when people have complaints, you know, addressing them, letting them know, uh, either addressing their complaints, you know, fixing it if it's a bug or if it's a balance issue, addressing it, or just, you know, if it's something that is a conscious design decision, something we meant to be in the game, explaining where we're coming from and why we made that decision. Uh, and overall, people are pretty receptive to it, uh, and we definitely take feedback from the community, and, you know, it's just about as much as just making a game that people want to play as it is making a game that we want to make. Mm -hmm. And so, it, it really comes down to a compromise on, on a lot of stuff, because, uh, you know, the community wants certain stuff, and we want certain stuff. Uh, Oh. Oh, Dang man. it! Yeah, it's oh. been it's been cool, and the community's just they've been super helpful. Uh, they, they, there's a subreddit now too, which was really cool for me because I've been a redditor for a long time. And uh, it's and uh, when it comes to uh, telling players like how to play the game and getting hints, we, we don't. It's at the point we don't even have to do that because the community will. Win. And we'll help with people, and they'll help with people having bugs too. It's, uh, it's been really nice to see. Cool. Uh, that's that's always got to be such a good feeling too, where you see such a good community coming out of uh, such an awesome game. Yeah, uh, it's 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 just been so cool to be a part of, and I I hope it lasts through uh, when we start going open beta and we open the floodgates. Uh, 
know, we're all kind of, we're all kind of expecting that to be the end of our overly positive, just because there'll be so many people coming in for a free-to-play game that, you know, the 95%. Yeah, they gonna expect the world. Game. <laughs> Get something! Darn! Ah! Get hit in the face with the sword! <laughs> maybe, maybe get it. Oh, oh, oh. oh, we have to add a. Uh, yes! So, uh, the way you can get in is if you type in custom game room, uh, if you search up. Uh, actually, I'll type it. 1963. So, um, we're going to go a little bit over on uh, this for time since we started a bit late. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Just so you know. So, like, we'll be about maybe five. Got time for another match or two, I think. Yeah, I think two more matches will do it. Here, as long as you guys need me. Wiki. Um, the one thing I did want to ask is, how are you guys with, like, the YouTube or the streaming community? Obviously, I assume, um, it's probably pretty pro positive, but if somebody wanted to put, uh, YouTube videos up, do you give, um, permission for that? Uh, universally, yes. Like, I mean, Actually, we're, we're a small indie studio, so just spreading the word is the biggest thing. So, streaming, YouTube videos, all that, just... I mean, just do it, and we'll be happy. And we watch a lot of it, and it's really cool to see. And some people put up some really cool, helpful stuff. Some people put up just like some super funny, weird stuff that I feel like I'm getting old because I don't understand it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and like uh, the Twitch thing is is uh, pretty new to me too, and I'm having to learn all the like the Twitch parlance, and <laughs> uh, that's been interesting. Yeah, so, yeah, we always have to ask that because, uh, you know, when it comes to monetization and YouTube, it's a big question that's been big for the last year now. Uh, just based on, you know, everybody wants to make a penny here and there. Yeah, if you guys want to have an <laughs> ad, I, we don't mind. Just, we just want you to spread the word. Yeah. yeah. Give it on record, cool. everybody, uh, that you're allowed to. <laughs> that's the thing. Yes. Yes, stream, make videos, do all that, please. Stop. In fact, stop <laughs> not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're just still waiting on Yin and Trek, so just figuring it out. Um, again, if you guys are just searching for the custom game room, it's number 1963. Uh, I also sent you a friend invite on Steam. So if that's easier, then that's easier. Killer Peach, as he said in the uh, the game chat, talking about the lag, and uh, thank you, because that's been something <laughs> that has been an arduous process for us. This is, oh, uh, I bet. Yeah, this game's been my first experience with networking, and uh, I'm, I'm not the only one working on it. It's me and a couple other of the programmers who do it, and it's been uh, it's been a learning experience, and it's gotten. I'm not afraid to say I think it's gotten pretty good, uh, especially. I mean, if you're in the U.S., because our our one server's in Atlanta. Uh, I, I dropped so someone else can play right mm. now. If you're uh, on this continent, you're going to have a pretty awesome connection. And we're going to have European and Asian servers eventually. Oh, cool. Some, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm literally working on that like now. Like, that's yeah. Like today. Let's work on that. Uh, that must be one of your hardest different. challenges. Oh, man, it's hard. Because we have to like rework so much stuff on the server. People are like, where are those servers? And like, they're coming. It's just... It's not just, you know, throw up a server and it, and it works. We have to completely rework everything to, to, to uh, handle having multiple game servers uh, that are across the world and, and routing people to the server that they've got the best connection to and picking out matchups based on where you're located and how your connection is. All that mm -hmm. stuff, you know, get the European players playing with the European players so that they can play the same way that we've been enjoying it in the U.S., which is pretty much lag free. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Uh, the one uh, question that we ask every developer is, has there been um, any, well, there's always glitches in the game, but what yeah. is your favorite glitch that you got to see happen? Uh, I was prepared for this question. <laughs> <laughs> Travis prepared me. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think the funniest one that we had recently uh, was... We recently changed it. So it used to be, uh, if you had an attack input and a jump input, the attack would overwrite the jump. 
uh, and had priority over it. And oh, we changed it so that uh, you can actually do both at the same time. So if you input jump and attack at the same time, you will jump and attack. Oh, cool. Uh, and do an aerial attack. And uh, the Lance has a charge up recover move. It's the only recovery move. It's the only one in the game. It's the, the neutral and up inside uh, heavy attack in the air to, to help you get back to the stage. Mm -hmm. And uh, we found that when you jumped and did that move, if you held it down, you would just, you would, instead of sitting still like you're supposed to, you would just start rising in the air and eventually just like go off the top of the screen. <laughs> oh wow! You could recover from anything, uh, and uh, that was pretty funny to see. <laughs> nice. Uh, and then I mean, other than that, it's a lot of like we have a lot of cool. <laughs> not, they're frustrating for me because I'm a programmer. Every time I see a bug, it's like, ugh, it's something I gotta fix. Uh, but yeah, one of one of our uh, our guy who does uh, our most of our effects work, like the the solutions and stuff, is. His screensaver is just rotating pictures of bugs in the game. So every time we walk, walk by the desk, you just get to see reminders of like the time Nye's jaw went up over her face. <laughs> uh, oh my uh, god! Just like super weird things that have happened with like building out the character skeletons. And, uh, or uh, uh, another funny thing is we're we've been in the middle of redesigning everyone's. Uh, ground heavies for a while because it eventually or it first started where everyone had the same forward and down and had their own unique neutral heavy and I mean it wasn't enough so we've expanded three but uh, they were they're their own characters as we're testing them out uh, so there, there'd be like two Hattori's in the game and if you went to like new Hattori uh, it would just kind of pick a random animation for her in the for whoever in the uh, character select screen oh and, weird <laughs> Uh, so they'd sit there and they'd do like other characters' moves, or they'd sit there and just do like a taunt, so they could just like sit there and do their running man while you pick them. <laughs> Ooh, double knockout! I don't think I got one of those. Yay, go my steampunk princess! <laughs> <laughs> um, who is a voice actor in the game? Voice uh, actors. I believe most of them are, I think his name's Brett. He, he works uh, with Saviant, which is our sister company that works in the same, we share an office with them. And uh, we had all the voices recorded a while ago, at least the ones that are in the game. And uh, I believe he did most of them. Uh, oh, okay. That, Shit. That's, a, um, that's a process that's kind of in limbo right now. Uh, Ooh, another double knockout. Just no time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, uh, when it comes. I tried to get my voice in the game, but yeah, nothing really came out right. Okay. Damn. Uh, when it comes to the uh, game itself, what the what engine did you use? Uh, we made it. It's a house-made engine. Oh, uh, yeah. We call it the Mammoth Engine. It, it it's based on cool. uh, what we did in well, not me personally, but what we as a company did. In uh, Dungeon Blitz, and so when I first when I first started, this game was pretty much just like a hacked up PvP Dungeon Blitz. Oh that man, was so so different from what it is now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, servers completely C plus plus, and then uh, the front end is uh, some C and some action script. Was it uh, particularly difficult uh, to create your own um, uh, your own uh, engine for the game, or did it just make things easier after it was done? Oh, uh, in the end, it's easier. Uh, most of it was was done by the time I got here, but uh, it's just it's easier because like if you need to change something in engine level, you just can. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, we have to be a little bit careful, so that we don't we don't break dungeon woods. But, uh, you know, it's easy to expand on, and then you just don't have to... Everything is in your coding style, too. Which, uh, I mean, I don't know if you guys have ever written code, but, uh, like, having programming standards and, like, just, like, the way you do things, and having the engine done the way that you like you like to program, the way you like to read code and write code, is, is it's actually pretty huge. Hmm. Uh, I know, uh... 
the guys from Xavian uh, were kind of fighting with their engine when they were working on Lich Doom. And uh, it's been nice not to have to do that. Cool. Uh, there's one thing I did want to ask, which I'm pretty sure I know the answer of, but do you guys have an ETA about when open beta is going to hit or when the game's going to launch? It should be pretty soon. Uh, I think sometime this summer. That's what we're aiming for. Oh wow, that is pretty soon. Yeah, so no promises, mm -hmm. uh, obviously. <laughs> well, yeah, it but looks pretty polished right now, but of course there's always room for for dealing with stuff. Oh yeah, I mean we don't. The progression system's not in. Uh, the store needs a whole lot more work. Uh, the servers need a lot of work. We got to finish out all the characters because uh, uh, Thatch and Lucian are still waiting on their moves. Uh, but the end. It, or I guess the end to open beta, I can see it, and it, it's, it's cool because it'll be all it'll be about two years once once we finally hit hit that point, and just the uh, the scope and the uh, the goal of the project has definitely expanded since I started. And mm -hmm. it's really cool to see, uh, and uh, game games come out really really nicely. We've all been very pleased with it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think we have time for one more match if um, Trex and uh, Yin pick their characters. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Wink, wink. Arrows. <laughs> He's so good free for all. <laughs> that was the first one, the Minotaur that I used. I am a huge fan of Roland and Scarlet. I think they're my favorite yeah. thus far. And that's I was playing Roland before the stream is who I was playing a lot of. Yeah, roll. I've I've gone through my Roland phase. He's awesome. <laughs> uh, I, I like to play uh, faster characters usually because I'm, mm. I'm pretty big and chase. I like to chase people. And uh, I think my stance right now says a lot about me. <laughs> <laughs> All about that strength. I'm All really, about. I'm, I'm not really. Oh, example. Yeah, average has always been about. <laughs> Strength and more strength. <laughs> there it is. If I can and do more damage, I'm going more damage, to. <laughs> more damage. Um, and because I'm usually not that great at most games, I try to aim for a character that has uh, the ability to get hit more <laughs> before <laughs> things happen. It's <laughs> hey, a defense. Defense yeah. and speed. Get, get some, some Lucian or, or Sentinel going. Mm -hmm. But I had fun with, uh, what's her name? Uh, the, the, who's it? Kai? Nai? No, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, the uh, princess of, or the queen of the Jaguar Kingdom, I believe is her story. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, yeah, I did want to ask you do you want to tease our stream with a little bit of the background story? Yeah, sure. Uh, so, I mean, in Valhalla, uh, what greatest heroes of the time are, are gathered to fight, and. Uh, Right now, it's most uh, the story is pretty pretty character driven. So Scarlet, uh, actually, I can start pulling up some, <laughs> some of the uh, the backstory. But uh, Scarlet is an inventor from Victorian times and uh, a champion boxer and yeah. uh, awesome. the defeater of <laughs> Baron von Evelstein, <laughs> who, <laughs> who no one realized was evil until <laughs> he tried to take <laughs> over the world. <laughs> Well, the names mean nothing. Come on. Right, right. It, he didn't choose that name. We assume. Uh, and then uh, she's a constant inventor in uh, in Brawlhalla. She's uh, she's got a mechanic skin that that we're working on, where she's got like a prototype rocket lance, and her hammer's a big like monkey wrench. Oh wow! And I'm really excited about that skin. I really like it. Uh, yeah, I want to see that. Oh, Cassie. Okay, so Cassie, the uh, the cowgirl. Uh, she became like sheriff in the West at the age of 15, and uh, at some point Abraham Lincoln has her track down a gang of vampire cowboys. What? And oh, uh, her horse is a cougar named Boots. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we know you guys have lots of imagination when it comes to that kind of thing. Yeah. And, uh, Sentinel is a superhero who uh, was a 
professional football player at one point, and oh, wow. was also an anchor on the nightly news where he would talk about the deeds of Sentinel, <laughs> and, and just and uh, go by Henry Coates. Just for, who is Sentinel? We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the 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 puff pieces. Man. Yeah. Uh, and Tara, actually I haven't read Tara's backstory, so I don't know his, I'm sorry to say. I need to. Uh, he's, he's new, I haven't got a chance to see it yet. Ooh. Oh. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna beat you. Ow. Oh, Trex was so mean to me. Is there going to be any, uh, like, are you considering possible, like, ca animations to, to show off the character's backstory, or is it just going to be left with, like, how, um, Mortal Kombat did it, where it would just show a picture of the character and then the, the, the backstory in writing? Uh, yeah, so right now it's, it's, uh, it's in writing. You, there's a, uh, a Legends page if you go to the, uh, front page and uh, that'll take you into all their backstories and they've each got like a couple pictures and some some quotes about the hero and quotes by the hero and those are those don't disappoint uh, so uh, I don't know what our plans are for the future uh, whether we're gonna have cinematics or not but it'd definitely be cool um, and just kind of like everything else it all comes down to time oh yeah of course Ooh boy. Ooh boy. 15 seconds. Ho! Oh, that fire saved me. I've died so many times. <laughs> oh ho. Six nope. So I guess the shameless plug version of that is if you guys keep supporting us, we can put more stuff in the game. Yep, exactly. Get those, get those cool fluff features like that. <laughs> Go Yin! Go Yin! <laughs> oh, it's, it's oh, or she's gonna death. fall off. Oh, she disconnected. Oh no! Oh, no. <gasps> Brutal! Killer PG, you do not deserve that. Wait. No, no, doesn't count. <laughs> well, uh, that should uh, we'll call it there. But this was super awesome, and we're so happy to have uh, you guys, you on the show, and the game on the show because it is super, super fun. I would also Thank love to have you back. Yeah, yes. when you guys have major updates or changes or like if you're launching or doing open beta or anything like that, let us know because we would love to have you back on the show. Oh yeah, awesome. Yeah, uh, this is this has been pretty fun. Uh, it's a lot easier than I expected it to be. Good, we make good. Sure to make our, our uh, <laughs> chats and um, interviews very nice and easy and just fun in general. Yep, always got to love the nice and easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that, this is fun. Uh, yeah, uh, next time we've got some major coming up, uh, I'll shoot you guys a line. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you so much, Andrew. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Alrighty, guys, and uh, we will be back in a few short minutes. Uh, we have a horror game coming up. Oh, it's a psychological horror puzzle. Uh, uh, okay. We're gonna, honestly, you're going to love this game. It is so cool looking. Cool! I don't know anything about it, but I do know it's from a recurring guest, uh, the developer behind The Moon Sliver, which launched on Steam not too long ago. Yes! So, make sure to stay tuned, and we'll be back in a few minutes. Yes! Sure. Uh, I think you're still on. We can hear you anyway. Mike's off. Uh, I can't remember his name though. His name is David Zeminski. Zeminski. Right. Don't I don't know how to pronounce it. Just and he goes by Je Jefe Queso. <laughs> oh, he was in chat. Yeah. 
Un po' meno lo so. Yeah, we're back, kind of. Mm. Nope, mm. no, we're not. I need to turn off that Skype stuff. <laughs> Boop. Mm. Boop. There we Let's go. Turn this a little bit. Yay! Now oh, you look, can see we're both in the same room us. again. Oh, hi! hi. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so while I get the setup, why don't you tell us what we're playing, Giant? Uh, we are playing The Music Machine, and um, I'm not going to say anything. Because oh, okay. you are gonna you're going to see it for yourself. And it is so cool looking. I think I have to window capture. And it's um, on Steam. Mm -hmm. Came out on Steam. Like this is already out? Yeah. Uh, on wow. May, May 5th, I think it was. I'm impressed. And um, it is on Steam with positive um, reviews, of course, because it's made by uh, Mr. David uh, Zemanski. I probably said that wrong, so I, I apologize. But we will be getting him in the call shortly. Yes. As soon as I'm done this, really. As soon as you're done being professional. Oy vey. Prof so professional? Sir professional. All right. I think we're good to go. So let's get David in All the right. call. Oh, sorry. Oh, I can just drop you. <laughs> you're still talking. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. I wasn't sure if you were going to be coming over here. <laughs> Hello. Oh. 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 Oh, I know what's wrong. What is I know what's wrong. That's my bad. Hi. We can I'm sure you're there, David, but I turned Skype down. <laughs> there we yes, are. I just have to figure out which okay. Yes. I'm muting the stream. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. It was a bit confusing for a second there. <laughs> okay, so, and if I remember correctly from last time there's a fairly significant delay from de what I'm seeing to <laughs> Yeah. It ranges from five seconds up to about thirty-five seconds. The if you okay. want to make it less um, on the stream, you can turn it up to the highest. The higher the resolution, the less uh, lag there is. That makes that no weird? sense that's really at weird. all. I know. I know. Yeah, yeah that's really weird. <laughs> okay. So my wife is also watching Futurama at the moment on. Ooh, Netflix, lovely. So that probably doesn't help. <laughs> can't, <laughs> can't really hear it, so that's good. Yeah, that's fine. But it'll provide some comic relief. Indeed. I wanted yes. to say welcome back to the show. Yeah. It's been a long time. Yes, I'm glad to be back on. Yeah. This was a lot of fun last time. <laughs> um, and as well, uh, I know another congratulations on launching the Moon Sliver. I saw that on Steam when I was just browsing for games that it had launched. Yeah, um, when you guys played it, it was still on just, just on Itch, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yep, managed to get it on Steam. Much thanks to anyone who, who voted for that on Greenlight. That was a huge help. Um, I'm actually doing game development pretty much full time now because oh, of that. Um, I'm working on uh, another game with 
uh, with someone else at the same time wow. as I'm working on my next game. <laughs> wow, wow, busy, busy. <laughs> well, congratulations. Yeah, That's busy. amazing. Well, that means we're just going to have to have you on the show a lot more then. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Yep, apparently so. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, so before we dig into the music machine, uh, would you mind giving us a quick synopsis that's not going to ruin anything? Because apparently Giant doesn't want to say anything. <laughs> I just okay, don't want to sure. say anything um, based on the looks and the overall style. <laughs> and, but yes, you can. the synopsis is perfectly fine to be said. Okay, essentially, um, well, there's a lot to it. But the basic setup uh, at first is um, a young 13-year-old girl named Haley who is being possessed by... Um, by a ghost of an old friend of hers who is Ooh. trying to kill her. He's trying to find a suitably gruesome way to kill her for some reason that we will find out. Um, and that's the set of, and his, his, this, this quest of his has led them to this abandoned island where they have, ju where just recently there were a whole bunch of mutilated corpses found. So, this is, yeah, it's, this is, um, a bit... I'm gonna crazier scream than my last game as far as plot goes. Okay. <laughs> really? It. Really? It's cr <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. That's that is a state. That's your box statement I'll right try not there. To you a bitch this time. Yep. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Might be making another compilation Yay! from this episode. <laughs> All right. So the music machine. Let us start. You be Haley. Okay. Oh, is that Haley's a woman? <laughs> yes, she's the girl. <laughs> okay. What did he say his name was? <laughs> he oh, didn't. To exit that menu first. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh. Is he bringing the boot back for us? The boat? Boat? What are you, Canadian? <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> A boot. Of course not. <laughs> right, of course not. Dot, dot, dot. It's lonely here. But we're used to loneliness, right? I am. I don't know about you. Come on. I have no friends and everyone thinks I'm a weirdo. That's part of being an adolescent. Loneliness is growing up and listing your barber as an emergency contact. Okay, Mr. Dramatic. <laughs> it's talking to people who won't answer. And it's suspecting that Travis Bickle wasn't actually crazy. Who's Travis Bickle? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Ooh. I know, Oh my right? goodness. I know. So, um... I got a lot of comments and reviews from people who uh, felt that the the moon sliver was a little bit lacking on the graphical front, and oh. uh, I could understand that. I suppose part of that was a stylistic choice, wow. but I don't think it um, came through as much as it should. So for this one, I was like, I'm gonna do something that very obviously comes through as a deliberate stylistic choice. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, you win. Yeah, that, that, that no, uh, textureless, is that what it is? That's amazing. Yeah, everything is monochromatic. Um, I played around it with it for a long exactly. time before I even knew what sort of game I wanted to make. Just trying to figure out how to make, you know, something monochromatic work and look good. Holy, and this, this is, is what I came up with. Yeah, yeah, this is unbelievable. This you know, is so cool. That was the first like thing that I saw. I go, wow. So apparently, Quentin does want to kill this poor little girl. Oh, that's no good. She was like, you don't really want to kill me? He's like, yes, I do. <laughs> Imagine he's just really frustrated. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> you haven't thrown me in front. Oh, can, wait, you go. Uh, <laughs> you can click through text as you're walking to you. You haven't thrown so me in front a of a bus. <laughs> You haven't had me stab my... What? Okay. So, uh, how oh, long shit. has the game been in development for? Don't have me jump off a cliff. Or um, lake or a few like months. Um, like let's see. How long exactly? I don't know. I have a terrible, terrible sense of time. Uh, was it, it was in development, in development longer than it needed to be because I actually was waiting a long time for my cover art. Oh, I work God, I really, really fast and my cover artist is a bit more of a sane human being than I am. <laughs> Um, so a few months. It's actually a much bigger game than the Moon Sliver, probably double in size and double oh, in wow. like story complexity and everything. Wow. As much reading too. There's a lot of reading. Yeah. Um, I'm actually kind of considering getting a voice actress for my next game, possibly, because I know a lot of people don't like the reading. Um, mm -hmm. I actually like it, like because I think it kind of 
keeps the sense of stillness to the atmosphere, but I know a lot of people are annoyed by it. <laughs> oh, I see. You have a cigarette. Well, I think you just need to contact Markiplier cigarette. somehow and tell him this is the perfect game. Oh, yeah, for his voice. Because he, uh, he loves the, 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 the games where he gets to talk. Oh, believe me, I have... I have tried contacting him a lot. <laughs> I have, as an indie developer, I have basically no power in that. It's actually yeah. Yeah. fans yeah. that have the power to get him Just to play away. stuff. Maybe so smoke. I have, I've, I've basically been begging people to suggest this game to Let's Players because that's the best way to get uh, publicity for it. Yeah, definitely. Oh, so we're we're playing as Haley. But Quentin is a ghost that's like in her body and taking her over. Um, that's why yeah, they can see through the same set of eyes. Oh, okay. You're yeah. Yeah, because since you're controlling her. Yeah, and she's. Oh man! So that's why she's like, "Well, you haven't killed me," and he's like, "Well, I'm trying to figure out what these murders are." But he does want to kill her. Kind. Of. Yeah, he does. The idea is that he's his justification right now is that he's trying to find a way he's going to be satisfied with. Ooh, that's that's so why he cool. hasn't killed her yet. He hasn't found anything that's satisfactory. Crazy. <laughs> well, at least he has attention to detail. I actually played a game that was uh, that had a sort of similar uh, style to this. Um, it was a free-to-play game and it was uh, completely puzzle-based. And it was called Beyond Perception. Mm -hmm. okay, and what it did is that, um, like, what basically what it was is that you're in an art gallery and you go into these abstract paintings, Ew. and you have to find your way through the painting. Your painting with only having two textures, or it's sorry, two colors yeah, and no yeah. textures. So you'd like miscellaneously mm -hmm. fall through things and without knowing and um, getting stuck in places without <laughs> without f really knowing where you're going and. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I, I actually I, I love that you know after a couple months couple months ago I played it and now I get to see this game with the same sort of uh, <coughs> colors and uh, oh. text textureless um, graphics and it's just like oh I love it. I can do things. More, more, more games should be like this, but I I would understand that it is a little bit difficult. It's a beautifully minimalistic yeah. UI, by the way, because it's only when you oh thank you depress it that the cursor even comes yeah, up. Yeah, I didn't want to have a crosshair in the center of the screen all the time, but it kind of distracted. Um, yeah, the, actually the biggest challenge mm -hmm. with this art style was figuring out how do you make everything you know, um, decipherable. Mm -hmm. And at first I was trying to have make sure that everything was like lit. Uh, I don't want to say realistically, but that every, uh, everything was like lit from where light would actually be coming and stuff like that, and that wasn't really working out, so it, in the end, um, you'll see if you really Can't look at it and think about it, there are some mm -hmm. objects where it's like, uh, they the light wouldn't really be coming from that direction, um, but that's what made it the most visible and mm -hmm. needed to decipher. And unfortunately, so I didn't get this out before White Knight, <laughs> and so... A lot of people have looked at it and they're like, oh, it's the same art style as White Knight. I'm like, no. Ah. <laughs> well, people it's also have to realize game. that, I mean, nowadays, it's okay to have the same art style as another game. Mm -hmm. As long as it's not yeah. like a clone. I would prefer to have a two, two games with the same art style that are completely different as opposed to Flappy Bird. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good point. Or like, um, <clears throat> Five Nights Freddy's... <clears throat> Because unfortunately, um, that's that's the easiest way to go. Is you take something that's already available and go, oh, okay, just make so it a little bit different. Yeah. I'm gonna carry one of these. Um. So there is a lot of text in this game, and a lot of things you can examine. The idea was instead of having huge walls oh, of text yeah. like I did in the Moon Sliver, it's kind of everything's broken up a little bit more. So if you ever need to. Uh, need me to stop talking so you can read stuff or anything <laughs> like that. Just let sure. me know. Um, is the I game like the, not? I, oh, sorry. Is the game non-linear or like do? You no, there's. That's what I was about to say. Oh, is okay. I enjoy the subtle path that we have. Eh? Yeah, okay. it's. So it is, actually it, it gets more path. linear as you go on. It starts off really open, and it also at the same time it starts off with you, the player, not really knowing anything and being kind of confused about things. And hmm. as the story 
gets more understandable, it also gets more linear until at the well, you'll see. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of both. It's it's non-linear, and then it gets kind of linear as the story becomes more directed. Mm-hmm. <coughs> A little ambiance. Yeah, the, I also like the fact that Oof. you went the route of just um, ambient noises and just sort of nature sounds as opposed to a, an actual mm-hmm. soundtrack. There will be music later on. That's another thing that... Um, that that's another thing Uh-oh. that kind of builds as the game goes on. I, I've discovered this that I make... My games are basically just... Everything is just a crescendo. Like, it starts off at zero, and then the whole game is just building up to, like, one or whatever. Mm. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. It's kind of like Medicare. what I like doing. By the way, if you notice the sound going weird, I noticed you just adjusted the volume. Yeah. There's a bug. Um, oh, okay. If the sound starts, like, fading in and out as you're moving, that's because the volume slider is still selected, and it's actually moving along with the mm. um, right and left arrow keys. Or the, oh, okay. A and D. So, and okay. if you notice that happening, just go back into the menu and click. No, or we just, just turned no, it up because uh, we couldn't. Perfect. We couldn't actually hear it. Hurt. Okay. Yeah. So if you just click somewhere else, it'll it'll stop. I actually don't okay. know a good way to fix that. It's a really simple bug, but I don't have any idea how to fix it. Right. <laughs> okay, your turn. Talk. S- smells <laughs> like stale air and old cigarettes, and I feel like something's watching us. Uh. Of course you do. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just noises. God damn it. There's <laughs> nothing of interest. Says you. <laughs> oh. Snarky. Mm-hmm. Just a dry pile of rotten mush. Mm, rotten mush is the best. Ugh. You're always such an expert at creating atmosphere, David. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's... Yeah, I think that's what I kind of... Um, okay survive on is <laughs> being able to do I guess makes things creepy. I don't know. Is your middle name Lynch? No. It's <laughs> 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 not Lynch. <laughs> David Lynch. Uh, you know what? I have never watched a David Lynch movie. I've only watched Twin Peaks. Which I love, by the way. Mm. Um, I should see some of his films. I hear they're Kind of strange. It'll it'll uh, flex your your um, WTF muscles. That's for sure. <laughs> I thought it was good. I mean, is that a note right there on that table? <laughs> Did I just slap myself? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> and now you made me slap my own butt. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's called a spanking. It's what children get when they misbehave. Yeah, sure, that's the reason. Oh, oh, oh. What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> this is interesting back and forth between these two. Oh, hey, it's our favorite book. Yeah, I Sarkin. thought it would... You know, oh, yeah. Moon Sliver was very kind of esoteric and existential and stuff, and there's parts of this that are like that, but I also wanted to make it a little a uh, little more conversational and at some points a little more lighthearted. And mm. then at other points a lot heavier, you'll see. <laughs> Makes sense, yes. Oh, so you see the first thing I said when I examined the television? It's an old CRT television. That's 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 old now. CRT of course, remember that high-pitched noise they would make? Oh, yeah, I used to get headaches. Yeah. <laughs> old cigarette butts. You've examined them. Can I have one? <laughs> no. Well, I tried. How about food? I'm feeling snacky. Your inexplicable chipperness about this whole situation is kind of infuriating. You know that, right? I'll take whatever relationship I can get. (laughs) This is not a relationship anymore. Whatever. I'll still take what I can get. Interesting. Oh, read note. Matthew 19. It's a page from the Bible over there. There's a grocery list scrawled on it. So this house, particularly, was kind of me trying to do a whole bunch with environmental storytelling. Like... There's there's this entire, like, narrative of what happened in this house that I tried to tell just through, you know, the stuff you can examine. And mm-hmm. it's not necessarily... Like, there's actually a lot about this game that isn't completely clear until you've played it once, and then maybe go back through and know, you know, kind of know the story, and then you can see the little details of it. 
Hmm, interesting. I like games that do that. Yeah, me too. Make you sort of think about things and go back and, and give you some replayability. I like, yeah, I like stories that do that, which is kind of why I do it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not Pete sure if anyone will replay it, but uh, so if they do, there's a ton of story here to get out of it. Mm hmm. Toothbrushes and pills. What kind of pills? Maybe you should pick that up. Examine thing. Oh, a water pick. My girlfriend used to have one. Seems a little out of place with everything else in this house. You had a girlfriend? I thought I was the only woman in your life. Two, actually, back when I wanted children. Years ago. The first one thought I was too controlling. The second one thought I was too vindictive. Vindictive and controlling. I've accepted that I am both of those things. You're not vindictive. You're just confused. Pick up that pot. Can you break things in this? Uh, no you cannot. The physics Ooh. engine doesn't go quite that far. Ding, ding, ding. But it could be worth, uh, uh, I assume it could be worth us, um... Need to use the toilet? <laughs> nope. Um, I will tell you in advance, <laughs> there is no practical reason to pick anything up except if you want to enjoy throwing it around. Okay. I was However, if, if the prompt says take, that is an important item. Pick okay. up is not, but take is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, because I was thinking, oh, is there going to be stuff hidden Blech. underneath things? That was my first thought. Oh, um... It's dry and well, stiff. Oh. I should say that there's no practical reason. Like, you can't pick pick an item up and then use it. There are some points where you'll have to move something. It's an old dry hair. Okay. Ooh. Interesting. <clears throat> so was it hard using the, uh, the lack of uh, texture uh, style for trying to keep things visible yeah yeah that's the big problem i faced was especially since um well since it is just monochromatic Ooh. and the other color is black all the time mm -hmm. um it did make it in some cases until i got the knack of like until i kind of got the knack of how to do it and then it got really easy it was just oh well if this doesn't work i use this shader and this material and that sort of stuff but yeah at first it took a lot of experimenting and playing around to figure yes. out how to make it work. Mm -hmm. Did you <coughs> want to go do some shooting? You know, for old time's sake? I don't see a point. Or you could shoot me in the head? That would work too. No! <laughs> You're it's, dick. it's not a very interesting way to die. <laughs> now that is my kind of toolbox. Blech. Tools. Oh, key. Oh, take key. Kick. Ah. <laughs> so we'll take that upstairs. Eating rusty nails. That's a horrible way to die, right? Why are you giving me suggestions? I don't know. It's fun. Jeez. So as you can see, Haley's a bit of a strange character. Yes. <laughs> She's kind of supposed to be okay. a budding eccentric. <laughs> what? The chainsaw. Why not? Come on, you know tools make me uncomfortable. And Ch chainsaws are the worst. <laughs> Super icky. <laughs> yes, she is 13. Oh, another note. Rule number six. Do not fear or trust the crackling whispers among the trees. You are more than equal to them. Okay. There's also a note on the wall above the workbench if you want to read that. Oh, yes. They're damp and rotten. Your name is Roger. This is your kingdom. These are your rules. Rule number one. Your childhood was in, of inferior lies and inferior fairy tales. You have grown up. Rule number two. Remember the truth. There is no truth. Rule number three. Forget the truth. Reality is what you decree. Rule number four. You have books full of better lies and better fairy tales. Use them. Create your truth. Create your happiness. Rule number five. You are a king. You are a god. Cryptic. <laughs> yeah, there's. I tried to do a whole bunch more with this, um, story-wise, and a lot of it is, again, it's probably not something most people will completely understand the first time through. In some cases, I may have made it too confusing. I will admit that, but <laughs> hopefully, the the like the the main plot is pretty easy to follow. Mm. Easier than in the Moon Slipper. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of other little details and little subplots happening as well that tie into it. Um, 
And it also, by the way, uh, ties in plot-wise to the Moon Sliver. Oh. Oh. Kind of a subtle way. I mean, it explains just... some of the some of the backstory of the Moon Sliver and some things that um, uh -huh. that game didn't explain. Dude, didn't bother me, fails. Man of my own heart, poor woman. Feminism, rawr! <laughs> <laughs> oh crap. Oh, there's nothing wrong with an attic. Come on. <laughs> oh, it is a campground. The basement huh? and the attic. It's the two extremes of of the house yep. are always the scariest. Mm-hmm. Eh. Oh, another note. I hear them. Oh, go for it. Oh, I hear them at night when it rains. Scratching, seeking men, cat like men, gods like me. There is more electricity in the air than <laughs> since last week. Crackling. I feel the wind of another planet. I am Jesus. Hmm. God is four. They whisper everywhere. I speak back, and they hear me. We teach each other. They are so much like me in spirit. The animals are gone, too, except for the crows. Warm lake breeze blowing. Sparkling waves. Empty island, empty always. My kingdom, my truth. When will they come? And will I greet them with bowed head or with bullets? I am Jesus. Dot, dot, dot. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so she's right, it was a campground. It's old and weathered and covered in dust. Seems it was outside for a long time. It's been up here a long time, too. Old cardboard boxes. Old cardboard boxes. <gasps> oh, files. A lot of important papers. There's a map here that looks like it might be useful. Take that. I will. Whee! Mm. I really now, like those spider webs. Those yeah. Are really neat spider webs. Thank you. <laughs> those are actually the um, very same spider web texture that was in finger bones. I don't remember if you guys played that or not. I watched, um, uh, I watched Mark Player play that one. Okay. Yeah, I, that was, you know, like, my first attempt at a horror game. Some things about it I don't like now, but... <laughs> it's actually the spider web from that just made monochromatic. Oh, cool. Yeah, because they use assets all over the place. <laughs> Nothing wrong but with that. But it looks different, so, you know. But yeah. eventually that becomes, like, the style of your own game development, too, right? Yeah, and it's, I like... I mean, Unity has... I mean, there are so many, like free or paid really good assets that other people maybe you can buy but I just I like doing my own stuff when I can even if mm -hmm. it's not going to be as good it's just it makes me feel better sometimes I mean I use like other people's textures like like oh. stock photo textures and then edit those to um, my specs like in the moon sliver but generally I like trying to do everything myself if possible mm -hmm. So we've no, come I'm just going to save you guys. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say, we've come out of the house now, and it's a different color. Subtle. Yep. Is it it's brighter? There, there are color changes throughout. You will see. Um, if you guys get lost at any point, since this is a stream, I will be happy to tell you where to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, certainly. <clears throat> the good, so the good news and the bad news about this is that, I mean, we still have another... Uh, 25 minutes but uh, so that's you know bad news but the good news as well in the sense that people if you want to see what happens next you got to play it for yourself yep uh, what is the price I'll point of the game oh sorry go ahead what's the price point what of was the that? game uh, this thing needs oh this is six dollars six dollars uh, wow yes which seems somewhere. a little high uh, but it is also it is like I said about double the content of the moon slipper and at least double the hi uh, I double didn't the think story. I don't yeah <laughs> I don't think it's high. by the way it's six dollars and fifty cents Canadian oh crazy yeah <laughs> that looks like an eye to me looks or like an a ear flower. I think it looks like a flower oh yeah yeah um I will also mention it is a bit of a slow burner so these this beginning parts i mean there's obviously not a lot happening except for you exploring around mm, a lot um, of exposition stuff happens <laughs> yeah. As it, stuff ha it, actually i would say it's a much more eventful game than the moon sliver was uh i keep hearing things mm. it's, just a it's not actually a door just a concrete outline i think it's part of the wall 
Maybe there's another entrance? Oh, you think? <laughs> I mean, one would assume so. <laughs> Seriously, Quentin, you're a dick. <laughs> I am trying to kill he you. He's a bit of a dick, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not, not. Mm. He's a bit of an anti-hero, let's say. Mm. Mm. Man, I'm gonna bludgeon myself with a board to shut you up. Dong, dong, <laughs> dong. Hmm. <laughs> must be another way in. Yeah. Um. I can tell you where to go if you would like. Sure. Yeah. Anything. Sure. Okay. Um. Right now, in the video, at least, it's to your right. It's kind of over to the um. See, this is gonna be difficult because I can't see. Okay, so I'm to where the entrance is, is it left or right of the entrance? It's left of. If you're looking at the entrance, it's to the left. Okay. There are some buildings over there. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, and it's in creepy one of those buildings, there is a hatch. <coughs> yeah, right now we have a cat that's my cat in dying. the background. Yep. <laughs> he hasn't eaten in. Like two hours. So two clearly hours, he's starving yeah. to death. What a world oh. to live in when you can only eat twice a day. Ah, I remember that hatch. Ooh, the hatch. I remember that <laughs> hatch. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Actually, um, it cover. looks like the one in the moon sliver, awesome. but if I remember correctly, this is actually a completely different model. No, oh, it just okay. Looks exactly like it. I can't remember if I remodeled it or just um, just edited it. <laughs> oh, for God's sake! <laughs> Stop. I don't want to have sex with a 12-year-old girl. Dying hasn't changed that. Whoa, calm down, jeez. I just wondered if you think I'm attractive. You would be attractive if you weren't a child. Now let's stop talking. Da, da, da. Why do you always act like I'm asking for sex? I never asked you for sex. I'm not even sure how that would work now. I only ever wanted to be friends. You're the one that turned us into something weird. Haley. There's no way a 12-year-old girl and a lonely 34-year-old man can be together, alone, every day without it turning into something weird. <laughs> Especially when the girl keeps asking uncomfortable questions about her, how her body looks. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> well, well, that was fun. Let's just see what's down this hatch. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of, um, Professional. Leon, the Professional. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, actually. Because that movie was like, oh, I'm 13. What? You said I'm yeah, small. Yeah, have 13. you seen the like the international version? Of no. It, or just the American cut? Um, I saw the cut where there was a proposition. Because in the American cut, it's like there's there's this undertone of sexual tension. In the international cut, it's like she straight out asks him to have sex with her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, out yeah I think I saw that, like, that uh, cut scene. Yeah. <laughs> there were a couple moments where I was like, ah. Uh, yeah. You're a child. No, I'm not. You are. You talk like an adult. You're starting to look like an adult. Maybe sometimes you think like an adult, but you're a 12-year-old girl, Haley. 13. Adults still run to their daddies and lie about being molested when they can't handle rejection. I'm sorry. <coughs> I was angry and I wanted him to care for once. Well, good job. He cared enough to put a dozen bullets in me. Ah. Oh. And now I'm dead. And I'm never going to have a wife. And I'm never going to have children. Any friendship we might have had died with me. I don't believe that. <laughs> you don't have to. That's just how life works. You punch a hornet's nest, you get stung. That is yeah, so now, dark. Now we have the backstory of of their relationship. Mm -hmm. That is dark. Oh crap! Speaking oh, of crap. dark, oh crap! Yes. Oh. It's okay. There's nothing down here. I don't think. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you too. <laughs> <laughs> He's not laughing because there's something down here. He heard he heard a joke. Yeah, he's <laughs> laughing in Futurama, right? Yeah, like I said, my wife is watching Futurama. Could be <laughs> because of that, or it could be because there's something down here. Pages of a survival <laughs> newsletter. They're quite old. This one's too. Yeah. It's stuck or locked. Oh, sorry, that was your line. It's stuck. Whatever. I like this because there's two people, so we can really play it together. Well. Yeah. I'm glad yeah. that uh, I came uh, out of my man cave. <laughs> These boards look new. I need 
like an axe or something. Oh, pull. Yank! <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. Maybe there's something around we can use to break through them. There's another room. Where? Turn, go back. And there's actually a little oh. bit of an Easter egg if you examine it again. He actually tries punching them, and she's like, What are you doing? Punch it! Well, that's happened. <laughs> Punch! Ow! What the hell, Quentin? Not my body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, the music got really loud. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. I guess, because there's music. Yeah, it's purposeful, <laughs> yeah. for sure. Yes. It does okay, so add some something here. definite uh, atmosphere to it as well. Yeah, it'll there will be more music yeah. as you go on. Um, that's actually me playing the violin for all three of those. Oh parts. wow! Oh cool! Yeah, I'm impressed. I was originally going to be I'm a excited. professional musician, but I actually went to college for that. But I ended up doing this instead. Huh? You could still do it, I think. I could actually, yeah. <laughs> I like. <laughs> I like you making games. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I like making games. But do they always have to You're be so creepy? creepy. You're, there's nothing. It's just water and lights and darkness. Yeah, I'm I'm a horror game fan, as you uh, you know, obviously. But I have actually never been a fan of like the amnesia sort of games that are really about just kind of tricking you into a fight or flight response. I mean, amnesia is brilliant at what it does. Don't get me wrong, but I don't enjoy that. I always have really enjoyed. The atmosphere and the creepiness ah, and you know that sort of thing more than ah monster chase scene, mm. <laughs> which is why that's most of what my games are is atmosphere. Not a lot of monster chase scenes. <laughs> nope. Okay. Are you ready for a puzzle? <laughs> yep, in here is kind of your oh. first puzzle. <laughs> and again, I'll help you out with this if you get stuck. <laughs> I don't normally like... I, normally I'm just like, ah, oh, screw it, you guys figure it out yourself. But since <laughs> this is a stream... <laughs> <laughs> don't want the stream to just be you, you know. Mm. This looks useful. It's just illegible scribbles. Met a man, an eyeless and man, a toothless man, and he looked at the man, and the man looked at him. And he saw the man was beloved and dearest of friends, and the man spoke to him, How long since you've tasted bone marrow? And he told him, he told him truthfully, and the man said, Come. And he went with the man, and they vomited pure clean water into an endless eternal infinite sea. And then, the end. A story by We the Four, the One. Oh God. Blech. It's like an alien wrote it or something. We the four of the one, we have language. Writing, too, and power to put in, put in it. We are gods now, if ever we weren't. Gods need domains, unfractured domains. So we make another, a better one. A terrarium, maybe, they call it. Ask Roger. We call it Kingdom. The greatest experiment yet. Four humans go in and live. We're writing a tome, a sliver of wisdom. Uh, it will keep the father's beast away. Oh, uh, because the moon sliver is about four people. And it w had a... Uh, I bet Roger was one of those people, wasn't he, David? Maybe. <laughs> Playing <laughs> Skyball will be our throne, the moon. A moon, maybe, they call it. Ask Roger this, too. The Skyball will be wisdom, too. Kingdom we will be kept alive. That name seems familiar. Sure does. Oh. <laughs> Roger? That article seemed someone named Roger Cox owns this place. And he's a recluse. Oh, sorry. And he's a recluse, right? You said you didn't read it. I may have read it a bit. <laughs> our writing, it sucks for now, says... Oh, our writing, it sucks for now, says Roger. Better will be better. More to learn. Stories. <laughs> So now you got to figure out that puzzle. I'm assuming it has to do with these things. Yeah, maybe. Yes. you got to keep an eye there on There is one more note you haven't looked at. Oh. Boop. And boop.
that's the that's the front layer. I think I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> oh, I see. Maybe. Not quite. There's one more note you guys haven't seen. Okay. There's a table in the back that is a note on it. Oh. In the back is a note. Oh, take paper. Oh. And then put paper in piano. Turn lever. Not quite. Um, you have an inventory, so if you press the right mouse button, that'll bring right. up your inventory. Oh, you got uh, the map right. Zero, zero one, one zero one one one. one. Okay. Oop. Zero one zero one one one. Turn lever. Oh, you know what? You did it the wrong way, didn't you? <coughs> zero, zero, yeah. One, one, one. There, <coughs> zero would be. Uh, oh, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Well, that's an easy fix. Yeah. Uh, Spin that lever. I will, sir. Whoa, jeez. <laughs> there are things. To touch. Swear. Not a good idea, but let's do it. Whoa. Whoa. What? Inception, much. Oh, oh, that felt really weird. What the hell just happened? Jeez, it's hot. It smells like rotten meat. Mm. And I feel floaty. Where are we? I have no idea. It's a good thing I didn't do this in Princess Bubblegum. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Jeez. So, post apocalyptic? Mm, possibly. Oh, we are. We are floaty. Yeah, there's a. Uh, you can press shift to run. That'll help you out. Yeah. Oh, oh we're going towards. The it's icy. So what do you say? A dark building or? I just want to see what's. Oh man, this is crazy. This reminds me of a mix of Inception and Constantine. Oh, nice. When he goes to hell. Yeah, when he goes yeah. to hell. <laughs> I never saw Constantine. Was it any good? I enjoy it, I enjoy though it. I enjoy the comics more. Of course you do. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a hipster. Wait. This must be a giant clock. Then. I don't know, Why but it's making face? a noise. Where's your face clock? Maybe it's just mm. clunking. Have you thought of that? Maybe. You can examine it. Oh. Um... You can examine actually just about everything. Not everything. Oh, it's like a clock thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So examining it doesn't help. I, I didn't no say it would help. Case <laughs> paper. Baby case papers. Oh. Haley. <laughs> Damn it, Haley. Zemin Poe. <laughs> Archmar says, I like the show, the movie not as much. Sucks that the show got canceled, eh? 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 Hmm. Eh? Hmm. Eh? Hmm. Eh? Mm. Mm. Eh? Mm. <laughs> Oh, there's the more of those. Show? Huh. There was going to be one, yeah. There is one. Oh. It was on for one season there and they canceled it. And there's many people that are not happy. What to are be. the thingies? What are you? Who? I don't know. You should try touching them. Throw at it. Oh. And those are. Those transparent things are one of the things you cannot examine. Huh. Ah. Fall damage. You are dead. Oh, God. The Arc de Triomphe. <coughs> Trexrail says, Movie was not that good, but it was watchable. I like the movie. I like the movie, too. I mean, I, I do enjoy Keanu Reeves, despite his dead penness. But I do understand why people didn't quite appreciate the movie because of how much they screwed up his character at the end. Whoa. Oh, you mean how he's supposed to be blonde and bisexual? Blonde, Whoa! No, not just that. More the fact that. Hey. that oh. Oh wow. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it's like a house in mid explosion. That's really cool. Yep, basically. And if you look closely, they're actually rotating slowly. Every all the little parts. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh wow. Don't go in. There might be radiation. I'm in. I'm radiated. <laughs> 
But yeah, about mm. the I end where he have lost your stream here. Gets salvaged. Shoot. It's not hinged, it's just solid iron. Try picking it up. That's weird. Yeah, I lost the stream for a second here, so I'm gonna have to re it. Oh, okay. No problem. We're just examining a windmill. Yeah. Alright. I don't feel a breeze. That's weird. I wonder what's making the blades turn. Dead bodies. <laughs> yes, <laughs> dead bodies are making the first. <laughs> Perpetual dead body windmill machine. Jack the Killer is making the blades turn. <laughs> Notice the twist. <laughs> oh, God. Is there? Oh, look at that. Exactly. Nice hunch. timing. Do you think these are what you're looking for? They're sharp and pokey. No, I don't think. Hop? Yeah, <laughs> jump. Is there a jump button to just jump into the... <laughs> there is no jump button. Uh, what the... But... There are noises. Things are m moving and working and... Oh, well. Doing oh, things. Oh, crap. Is What's in there? I don't know. Looks like a mess of concrete. Something scratching. Whoa! <laughs> Skating. We are floaty. Looks like the yeah. part of the ground. <laughs> part of the ground? What is it, a doghouse? There's no door. It's made of concrete, like everything else here. It's the size of a shed, and I don't hear anything barking inside. Well, it looks like a doghouse. It looks like a concrete shed. Doghouse. <laughs> I can feel heat radiating off of it. Another window. Examine the darkness. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so? Oh, I've lost the stream again. Oh darn. What are we doing? Looking around. Seven years. So. Same thing. Cages. Wretches. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong? They smell awful. Like manure covered in horseradish. I would recommend not sniffing them then. Uh, let's stand somewhere else, please. What? Oh. <laughs> what? Nothing is as it seems. It's a DeLorean house. <laughs> it's actually Knigzig. Thank you. Funny story. That was actually an animation error. And then I was like, eh, it's... <laughs> the whole world's supposed to be weird. I'll just leave it in. That works. No, it works well. Yep. Just some nails. I Use used the it. Sink. I used it. I'm the one controlling your body. Oh, it's adorable. Why is it adorable? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw a hammer at it. Yeah, now it's adorable. <laughs> it explodes. What the? What the? It's that's gotta be something. Something. <laughs> I'm in tools. Yuck! What? Um, something about these is really disgusting. They're just tools. Yeah, but they look like the sort of tools you torture someone with. Okay. All right. Sure. You're about to say something? Oh, Dave? I was just gonna mention that uh, stone you picked up. The yeah. one that makes like the tinkling sound. Um, yeah. In the original release, that was actually yellow, um, but it caused a whole bunch of confusion because all it is is just another weird part of the world, but a bunch oh, of people okay. thought that it was a puzzle element. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That's why I picked it up. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was a really interesting idea to make it the only thing in the whole game that breaks the monochromatic art style, but <laughs> also it turned out to be a bad idea. Yeah. So I changed it back. Unless you somehow made it so a person could carry it oh. throughout the entire game, and, and you get like some really random achievement. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Too, yeah. Like the, too um, much time on your hands. Episode two. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, I keep losing the stream. It just kind of freezes for me. So oh, um, if I good. don't see something, that's why. <laughs> we'll let you know if uh, there is anything. <laughs> we could try okay. doing a monitor share, maybe. Depends on how well you're... On computer. Skype, do you mean? Yeah. 
Okay, there. I don't use Skype like ever, so I don't know what it does. We do it. Problem. You'll just see um, it. We could try that if not, that's not going to mess up anything on your end. Uh, it should be okay. We'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's try okay. it out. Might explode. There you go. So if you go on Skype, I should be able to see it. Might not be the okay. best frames per I second. See it. Okay. Well, is it moving okay? Well, it is about zero frames per second for me. Mm. Shoot. Uh, let me, I'm just, I'm going to exit out of Hitbox now. And it is loading. Loading, loading. Oh, there we are. Okay, yeah, not the best frames per second at all, but at least I'll mm -hmm. be able to see kind of what's happening. I think I found the edge of the world. Goodbye, There is an edge please. of the world. <laughs> are we supposed to go there? Right. <laughs> nope. No, you're not. Nope. Goodbye. Oh, crazy. Oh. So there's something here that we need to look for. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm falling down on my duties. Um, in those houses oh, no, no. with the windmill yep. that had, like, the fireplaces, there's, um, in one of the one of the drawers, there's a note that you need to find. Oh, okay. And you know what? I ain't even mad. I enjoy the whole just looking around everything. The the unique so art style really makes it interesting. Like, it may, yeah, I want yeah, I to see what everything's going on here. It's in the um, in the other houses, not the ones with the meat hooks. <laughs> the, ones, <laughs> the ones near the arches. <laughs> oh, the ones near the arches. Yeah. Um, I don't. Did either of you play the Vanishing of Ethan Carter? I want to, and I've played the demo. Not the demo. Sorry, I've watched it on uh, YouTube a bit. Okay. That is one game I actually expected it to suck, but it turned out to be like my favorite game of the year. That year. Oh, crazy! It was incredible. Um, Isn't that nice actually, when that I, happens? <laughs> it is. Yeah, I was so glad to. Oh, uh, other way. You're going the wrong way. Whoa. Um, it's so nice to be proven wrong when you think something is gonna suck, unless you write um, an article. Tell, talking about why you expect it to suck and then have to say, actually, I was wrong. <laughs> wow. mm, um, allow me to eat these words. Uh, I just yeah. need a little seasoning. Because <laughs> the lead developer, um, Adrian, unpronounceable Polish last name, guy, um, he, they're actually the same guys who yeah. did Painkiller and Bulletstorm. And he really? Wrote something, yeah. yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. He wrote... Um, an article about how he thought that gameplay was getting in the way of storytelling, and I vehemently disagreed with that, and thus expected the vanishing of Ethan Carter to suck, and it did not. So, huh. um, guilty pleasure. Took, what was sorry? That? Guilty pleasure of mine is Bulletstorm. I don't know yeah. why, but I absolutely love that game. <laughs> Bulletstorm. I enjoyed it, but I felt that the, like Epic Games kind of. Well, I don't want to say ruined it, but made it a little more Epic Games-y than it needed to be. Yeah, that's um, very now true. Now you need to go back to where that, like, the farm place, and you'll see if you look out, um, yeah, toward the, the evil-looking black sun, you see that little copse of trees over there? Yeah. That is where you need to go. Okay. <clears throat> and now we have a But anyway, I took a lot of, trees. um, I took a lot of inspiration from that. Not, not anything, like, Big, but just little details of how it handled like non-linear story-based exploration hmm. and how it kind of melded in subtle gameplay with that uh. that's not creepy at all especially <laughs> the blood and the knives yeah oh god not creepy in the slightest. that's some nice sound design though thank you I had a lot of fun with the sound design in this game actually Go. You ready? Touch. Bzzzt. Back to the shash. Yeah. Um, now. I don't know how long you want to go on this. Um, I think we've been going for about an hour now. We can. Uh, we, I'm should, sure we can do one more zone. Okay. If we're going to, we're going to stop in the middle of the game. I would say stop before you don't go to the void or the music machine. Okay. Both we'll of those um, are kind of plot elements. So go to the Thorn Forest, and that'll actually show you one of the ways in which I kind of had some little subtle, simple gameplay melding in with the whole walk around and read stuff gameplay. This is 
this is really well done. I am immersed. Yeah, I am really into this. Oh, oh. wait, oh, how? Oh. How, oh, Quinn? The rain. What? Get inside. Oh, it's poison. Hurry. Yes, oh. You can die here. Oh, shit. Oh, it's shit. not easy to die, but you can die here. You have to really take your time. Here. Well, actually, the opposite. You need to get inside. The rain is killing you. Well, I mean, that's a pretty interesting way for her to die. Oh, right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good point, but, um... Well, that I, does I don't show. want to spoil too much, but, yeah. uh, but it is... Uh, it is Quentin, what Quentin says is not necessarily him being honest with himself. Yeah. Say that. I, I did want to point out, actually, that even in that point, she wasn't being honest either. She's always suggesting all these funny ways for her to, uh, to die almost calling mm -hmm. him out, and then the moment that she's getting hurt, she's like, oh my god, oh my god, help me. Mm -hmm. And then actually, he does. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. I actually put a lot of time into thinking about, like, the psychological aspects of both characters, ah. and, you know, love what they're thinking about, and what they really, what, what they really think about things, and what, what they're lying to themselves about, and that sort of thing. Mm. I tried to do much better character development in this than in the Moon Slipper, and I think I partially succeeded. Uh, this is <coughs> yeah, I liked, I really enjoyed the Moon Slipper, but this is uh, years beyond, years beyond just the character development, the mechanics, the immersion, and the way that you've tied in design elements into core gameplay elements. It's it's really quite interesting. Mm, thank you. I I think it's a lot better as well. Maybe a bit over ambitious in some ways, story-wise. Mm. I can admit that much. But um, now here, I will tell you at this point that my favorite game series of all time is the Stalker series. Oh, nice! Uh, and I don't, <laughs> I don't know if you can kind of uh, get a bit of that in this. Yeah. Game, in this yeah. World. <laughs> totally. So, what's your problem? The rain. It's hurting me. Is it acidic? No, it's. I don't know. I can't explain it. All right, then, back out we go. No! I can feel it killing me. Don't go back out there. You remember that I'm trying to kill you, right? Yeah, whatever. Don't go back out there. I don't think you're supposed to be. We can't stay yeah. here forever. You okay, don't fine. Just inside. try to stay inside when you can. I had to do a little The bit. pain's going away now that we're not outside. Quit and seriously, it hurts. <sighs> Interesting. Mm. One thing I was originally going to do is make death be absolutely permanent, like a deleted your save file sort of permanent. <laughs> oh, um, wow. I didn't end up doing that just because I kind of whistled out. <laughs> but <laughs> death is an ending. It's not the canon ending, but it is an ending. Anytime you die. And there are only two points in the game where you can die. This is. But <clears throat> Interesting. Uh, mm. We'll make it so and that it deletes your Steam it. profile. Oh, that, if I was able to do that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Blah, blah, blah. So we those can go ahead little, and touch that thing? Yeah, go ahead. Those okay. are a little stalker reference, those puddles. Yep. Too. There's a anomaly, yeah. Like I said, favorite game series of all time. If I could, I would spend my entire life making, like, stalker clones. <laughs> instead, I make these. <laughs> uh, very honest. Oh, okay, so it's just, like, a teleportation. That portal is a bit of a red herring. You're like, oh, hey, the portal back out. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Nothing here can kill me. Time or hunger or damage or will. Only the rain. The new world will be heaven, they say. Petting and poking me, cooing, retching. Time will stand still, they say. Our children will have children, will have children and prosper. Believe them? No. Not now. Not after my capture. Not after the rain. They keep others somewhere. Other places, other cages. The others are strangers. I have not met them. Their names, Mary, Jessica, and Hector. Yep. That's the moon's liver, I think, isn't it? Yep. yep. What about, what about, what was the name? Isla? I remember it's Hector. Um, one for me, these one are, for him, These say. are the original people. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because that's the heaven they're making. They combi They all went to make the... the the thing at the end of the moon sliver. And they mentioned Daddy's Beast in this game already. Yeah, which is, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember that. <laughs> How long I've been here? Don't know. Too long. Or not long. Or exactly as long as I deserve. Long enough. 
I taught them to write, damn it, to speak, to tell stories. A creature is under my building, my cage, growling and whispering. Woodland teeth, it says. Your friend, it says. Listen. No, too many mistakes already. So many mistakes. Who am I? Now I know. Not Roger, not Jesus, not a king or a god, not a truth crafter. I am Judas Iscariot. <laughs> so yes, like I said, it ties into the Moon Sliver. Cool. Um, moon Sliver universe or like a sequel? A prequel, I think. Um, no, it'd be yeah, sequel. more the bits of this that tie into the Moon Sliver are prequel. Oh, <laughs> don't make me pinch your nipples. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> no comment, Haley. My skin hurts. Ah, that's because you're a little bitch. <laughs> 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 and as you Whoa, can see man. here, her, her kind of chipper, you know, craziness is kind of going away as she's actually faced with the possibility of dying. Yeah. Yeah, because that's... It's, now who's talking, huh? That's such an yeah. um, unknown for a 12-year-old. Mm-hmm. Well, 13-year-old. 13-year-old. 13. She's, 13. 12, she's a child. Child, yes. Yeah. She's a child. 12, 13, um, that's she's about a child. all there is to see in this book. Okay. There are... There are little buildings outside that you can use to take shelter from the rain, and one of them has the actual portal. Guess what, Haley? Time to get hurt! And you'll notice the soundtrack here is kind of mixing um, just noises in with actual music. Do you know what this reminds me of that's giving me a little chill in my spine? Mm. Is uh, Vanish. Not Vanish, Vapor. Vapor, ooh. That was Vapor a was kind of cool. Until they nerfed it. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I like the original for sure. <laughs> yeah, what happened was that it, in the initial, um, please, please Quentin, oh. please, it hurts. There's a building right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, in the initial one that was, you know, the first iteration of it, uh, it was freaky as all hell because it. Oh, there it is. You would just see, you know, those things start popping up in your vision and everything. But mm -hmm. what they did is that in the second iteration oh. of it, they uh, or in the update of it. They made it so that those weird visions only happened when you got hit by the witches or whatever they were. Mm. So it became a lot easier. Yeah. All right. And that is probably the point at which we should cut off. The that's after what I'm this, thinking too. The other two worlds. That's where major plot developments start to happen and where everything kind of starts getting explained. Mm -hmm. um, and that's where the game really starts picking up steam. So. If anyone wants to finish the story, they can buy it on Steam or on itch.io. $6! $6! Uh, Canadian. Or you Six can get it on, I know Canadian. some people don't want to spend that much on an indie game. Um, but again, this, is, this game's <laughs> made to be played. Yeah, indie games are criminally undervalued, but that's another discussion. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this game is meant to be played... Um, meant to be played several times at least. And yeah, I just... Oh man, this is so cool! Two different I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. That's yeah, this is beautiful, David. I'm I'm definitely going to be playing the rest of this. Um, I'll refrain from st uh, streaming it because I don't want to... Okay. I don't want to give away the, the whole interaction. So if you guys do want to play it, make sure to buy it on Steam. It's only six bucks. Six fifty if you're Canadian, which is a mm -hmm. steal for this much content. It's always... Again, like I said, I love the Moon Sliver, and this game is far and above. Mm. This is, I think so, yeah. It's so immersive, and the story is really good. Yeah. You should try and find a friend to do the voices back and <laughs> forth, because I did find that that helped with the immersion yeah. quite a bit. That was a lot of fun. You get you get your character, and you start to think, think uh, of them and like them a bit. Yeah. Um, but I think... Or go ahead. Go ahead, David. Oh, I was going to say, um, and the... If you like this game and want to help me out, the absolute best thing you can do, as I said before, is recommend it to Let's Players. <laughs> yes. You guys, you guys are the ones with the power here. Like, sending all I can do is send unsolicited emails that they don't even read. So, <laughs> um, and that's like if Markiplier plays this or you know, PewDiePie. Oh my gosh, <laughs> if he yeah. plays this, that that's a huge help for me. <laughs> um, Definitely. So, and that's yeah, in, I would say this is more of a Markiplier game than a PewDiePie game. And, that, and the yeah. power is in you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, actually, well, 
I, in previous years, I would have said this is not suited for streaming or for Let's Playing, but then Fingerbones seem to be a, uh, people seem to like Let's Playing that. It's obviously, it's, it's a lot of fun to do streams of, or at least be part of streams of these story-focused games mm -hmm. that I do and get to see people Especially when they're so ridiculously it. unique. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> the power is yours! <laughs> um, the soundtrack is also available for purchase. Um, I was going to ask about uh, that. It says DLC on Steam, or you can buy it on my Bandcamp page, which I'll just put a link. Please in. link because Please I'm link. yeah I'm gonna buy that right after the show. <laughs> <laughs> I've really liked all the the ambience in this. So, how much is it? Second person who has bought that on Bandcamp <laughs> page. <laughs> the soundtrack is I think three dollars, right? Yeah, it's three dollars. Wow. Yeah, you're. So, yeah, you know what? You say that it's too expensive. It's not. Yeah. I don't think it is, but I know a lot of people would be unwilling to spend that much. If it were fifteen to twenty dollars, then you which know, is where it honestly should be. I would I would understand where people are, although I still think it's worth that. Yeah. You know <laughs> I've have you know I've spent that much money on games that didn't look this nice or didn't have this much immersion or didn't have like this beautiful music and ambience. Yeah. Okay. But I'm going to have to cut that off, guys, because yep. I can hang out with David all night, but yep. <laughs> we don't have the time to do that. <laughs> One more thing. Yeah. Uh, the Moot Sliver, if anyone does not own that, is currently, I'm going to pop this in the chat as well, is currently in it. a Bundle Stars bundle. Oh, for crazy. For 49 you get that. Montague's Mount, Craven Manor, Betrayer, Ooh. One Heart, Guns and Zombies, The Holy Path, shit. and The Samaritan Pair. I Those better buy that because also I <laughs> even if you don't like the moon sliver or whatever, Betrayer's worth that too. So <laughs> all of that. Eve Craven Manor yeah. is one of my favorite horror games. Yeah, yeah. Craven I've been meaning to pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, okay. I will let you guys go because I could keep talking about things yes. forever. <laughs> yes, so, and uh, we look forward to having you back on here, David. Yeah, me too. I will yeah. definitely contact you guys whenever I release my next game. Uh, Sounds probably great. Probably around Halloween. Ooh. Um, and uh, also, um, keep an eye on The Grandfather, which is the other game I'm working on with um, NPR Art Hallucinations. You're working with him? <laughs> oh, crazy. <laughs> yeah, we played yeah. The Lady, and actually, oh, yeah. um, I'm in the credits of The Lady. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I helped him with video capture and playtesting. Yeah. Oh, he's, yeah. A, he's an insane guy in the best way. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, I've. Uh, and also, if you want to see him, just watch um, the that movie with Will Ferrell and uh, Kevin Hart. He's in that too. Yeah, he's in a bunch of movies actually. As a <laughs> extra. Yeah. yeah, cool. Okay, anyway. so okay. I'll let you guys go. Thanks very much for having me on. I quite enjoyed it. it yeah, fun. you're welcome. Thanks again for being here. It's always a pleasure, David. Yep, no uh, problem. And for uh, everybody else, thank you so much for watching us, guys. Make sure to <laughs> sure like, subscribe, follow us on Hitbox. Um, follow our follow, Twitters. Yep, uh, so many Twitters. We have like three or four of them now. <laughs> uh, as well as check it out on YouTube. If you're checking it out on YouTube right now, thank you very much. And uh, if we couldn't do this, or if we didn't have you guys watching, we couldn't do this. So yes. if you have any games you want us to play, make sure to comment on them or tweet at us. And we can definitely try and get in touch with the developers. Mm -hmm. uh, but until next time, I guess uh, much love. And we'll see you all soon. Yep. Have a good night, everybody.